Next, he says, if any comfort of love. This is the comfort of love which is found in Christ. We are to understand the significance of his cross, and we are to feel surrounded by the love which it imparts to us. You know, I, I was just talking to the Lord this morning, just this morning when I was out at the mall, and there are times where I will, uh, let me make sure I don't lose my spot there. There are times where we will, um, uh, how do I want to say it? Okay, when I first met the Lord, I could not shut my mouth about the Lord. Hedico would probably remember that. I mean, if somebody came up, I would just stop and I'd talk to him. And, you know, I didn't have any theology, but I just wanted them to know about Jesus. That's all I wanted to do. And it was all I could think of was just reading the Word. Ten hours a day at work, I'd come home, I'd sit down, and I'd read it for another couple hours before I went to bed. I'd wake up in the morning, I'd read. And I'm on fire for these type of things. And, you know, you, you meet somebody on the road and you just have to tell them about Jesus. And there are times now where I will suddenly say, oh, you know, I'll talk to him tomorrow if I see somebody, or I'll do that tomorrow. And I was talking to the Lord about it this morning. I said, you know, I'm, I, there, it's not the way that it was when I first met you. And we all need to understand that that is not abnormal. That is the normal because we go through stages in our Christian walk. We're going to be excited at some times. We're going to want to develop in theology at some times. We're going to want to, you know, go away and be quiet with the Lord in the middle of the Arizona desert sometimes, whatever. Okay. But when I was talking to him, I said, I just want to have a fire in me to tell people about you again. I'm doing so much work in the Bible and typing so many commentaries and sermons and I'm so mentally exhausted at the end of the day that I often don't think I just need to tell that person I saw today about Jesus and I don't ever want to lose that. So um, he says, if any comfort of love, this is the comfort of love which is found in Christ. We are to understand the significance of his cross and we are to feel surrounded by the love which it imparts to us. When I met the Lord, all I could think about was Jesus died for what I've done. And I would, I, I spent months, we'd go to church and I would just sit there in tears when I'd hear the preacher or one of the songs. And it, there is something about knowing Jesus did this for me. What, 15, 20, 20, I don't know how long it's been, however long it's been, all these years later, when I think of the cross, it brings me to a state in my heart where I just want to break out and cry. And you see, sometimes when I'm typing, I'm sorry, sermon, giving the sermon that I've typed, I'll start to get a little bit teary-eyed because it means that much to me. And I try to get all of that out of me during the week. I practice it out loud and I practice it in different ways and I'll practice it while I'm walking and I'll practice it while I'm doing something yeah, because I, I want to get that out of me so I don't have a bunch of people in the church blubbering with me. It makes it very hard to continue a sermon when you see other people preaching as well. But the cross will do that to you if you understand the significance of what Christ did. And I would hope that none of us would ever lose that part of us is to stop and think, Jesus did this for me, even for a guy.